Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugene caught the eyes of the public during the funeral of their grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II. Beatrice and Eugene were seen getting up before the service for Queen Elizabeth had come to a close. Even their mother, Sarah Ferguson, was seen ready to exit with them. The strange behaviour had fans scratching their heads. Why did the pair leave so early? Some royal fans speculated that they wanted to curtsy for the Queen's coffin as it was leaving the building. Fans on Twitter took to the platform to ask questions about the odd behaviour. One user speculated, they wanted a head start and possibly go to the ladies' room as well. Others believed that something was happening at the Queen's funeral service, Meghan Markle and Princess Beatrice. Beatrice had to sit next to Meghan. When they were all outside, there were some glares from Beatrice's husband at the toxic duo and Eugene completely blanked them. Her Majesty the Queen was close with her York granddaughters. York sisters were probably genuinely upset at the grandmother's funeral, and to have to put up with Harry and Meghan's antics would have been unbearable. Princess Beatrice appeared to break down in tears, and she left her grandmother's funeral only to be comforted by her husband Eduardo Mapoli Mosi and her mother Sarah Ferguson. The princess was reportedly very close to Queen Elizabeth, who she referred to as Granny. It's believed that Meghan has a bitter jealousy towards Beatrice and Eugene. Harry has always had a close relationship with the York sisters. However, the bond between the girls and their cousin has reportedly soured. It's been revealed that Harry and Eugene became engaged to their significant others around the same time. However, given their places in the line of succession, the then future Duke of Sussex was given the first wedding while the younger Princess of York was the second. In other words, Eugene and Jack's wedding got pushed back in favour of Harry and Meghan's. What really takes the cake is that the now Duchess of Sussex would have jumped at the chance to be the first royal bride up the aisle at St George's Chapel, which she ended up being. So where does the bitter jealousy set in? Well, it all has to do with Tiara Gate. Remember how there was that rumour floating around about Meghan wanting to wear an emerald headpiece for a wedding? Well, if Lady Colin Campbell is to be believed, both Michael and Eugene wanted the same tiara. However, it's believed that the Princess of York had first preference as it had already been selected before Meghan was given the opportunity to choose her own. In other words, Harry knew of the selection and simply forgot to mention it to his fiancée. In regards to the Queen, she didn't want her granddaughter to be overshadowed by having someone else, her granddaughter-in-law, wear the same tiara. Her Majesty's trusted dresser, Angela Kelly, said Harry and Meghan made an almighty fuss. So where does Princess Beatrice fit into Meghan's bitter jealousy? In Meghan's lawsuit against the newspapers that published the father's letter, she claims that Beatrice and Eugene don't work for the Queen but have titles. This was in response to the newspaper's claims. Meghan has a title but doesn't work for the Queen when she did when she was a working royal. We had to look for an other to explain that one to us. So Meghan is jelly over Beatrice and Eugene having titles and not working for the monarch. 